ye home app. Hmm. Where is the app? Unavailable. Also unavailable. What's going on, ye? I'm doing a comparison video here and your cameras are not available. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Before I start the comparison between the Yi Outdoor and the Yi Home camera, I would like to share some information. Several days ago, I got a comment from one of my viewers in my channel that the Yi Home app, which is the app that is required to set up and use any of the Yi security cameras are not found in the Apple App Store. So I checked it out. And yes, you cannot find it on the App Store as of this making of this video. I messaged Yi Technologies on their Facebook page asking about it and their answer is that their tech team is working on the app and should be back online soon and they will post it on their Twitter account. I am kinda intrigued by this because the app has been on the App Store for a while and now it just disappeared. So I asked them if they know why it got deleted or why it got pulled out from the App Store and their only response is that Apple is reviewing the app and will be back online soon. So I'm pretty sure they have unhappy new iPhone customers right now that have bought their cameras, especially from the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, which they cannot use their cameras now because they don't have an app for it. Now, if you check their website, their Facebook page, or even their Twitter account, it doesn't mention anything about this. So what is up, ye? What is going on? My app and my cameras are still working without any problems. So the people that will be complaining about this will be the new customers. I also just checked Amazon and their home cameras including the new outdoor cam and the dome cameras are not available. I also checked their web store and the same thing. The home cameras are not available. Actually, not found. Their action cameras and other products are available so the only issue here are the Yi Home cameras and I think they have to pull them out because of this issue with the App Store. The app for Google and Android users is still available in Google Play so this issue is only with the new iPhone users. I'm hoping this issue will be resolved soon and for them to let customers know about it. So if you're a new home camera iPhone user contact them via their customer support email and also message them on their Facebook page so that they can get this issue resolved. I link their website, Facebook page, and support email in the description down below. Okay, now we can do the comparison video between the new Yi Outdoor Cam and their good old reliable Yi Home 1080p camera that I've installed in an outdoor case. I also have the video about this outdoor case a while back which is by the way not being manufactured anymore and I'm hoping somebody will start selling them again soon. I did a review of another outdoor case from Dropsessories which is out of stock most of the time and at this time of video though it is available at Amazon. I'll include the link of the videos and this product in the description down below. I have to install the outdoor camera in the same area where my Yi home with an outdoor case has been installed for more than 8 months now. Both cameras use the same app and will have the same layout and settings and just have some minor differences. On the settings, everything is the same except for the call mode which is available only on the Yi Home 1080p and not on the outdoor cam. This is just an option if you want the two-way audio to be like an intercom which you need to push the mic to talk and release to listen. Or you can have the hands-free which you don't have to push or press anything. On the smart detection settings, the labeling is just different. Motion detection for the outdoor cam and activity detection for the home version. Turning them on, you will have the option to specify the areas where you need to detect motion. Both of them will have the same options and settings. Now, the outdoor version will have the camera alarm, 
which will sound a 3 second beeps when motion is detected and the Yi home camera will have the baby crying detection. On the specs, it says that the Yi home camera has a 112 degree field of view and the outdoor cam has 110 degrees. They have the same image sensor, a 2 megapixel CMOS, and the Yi home records at 15 frames per second while the outdoor at 20 frames per second. Personally, I couldn't tell and see the difference. Let's check out some sample video footage. Now this is daytime and the snow is melting. This is from the Yi Home 1080p. And this one is from the Yi Outdoor. And with the mic on. And you can hear the water from the melted ice running. This one is at night with my Christmas lights on. And because of this, the night vision is off. Both of the footage looks the same. This one just after the snow. I live in South Texas guys and it doesn't normally snow here. The last time it snowed was in 2004 and before that was 1973. So this is a rare sight. This one is at night and with night vision and infrared LEDs on. Now for the two-way audio. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Again. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. I don't know if you're talking. Again. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can I can hear you a little bit. One more. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, bud? Okay, all done. Can you hear me? It's about the same sound. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you better. Is this better? Can you hear me better? Yes. Can you hear me, bud? Can you hear me? It's about the same sound. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me better? Is this better? Can you hear me better? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I can hear you better too. Alright, thank you, bud. 
As to the sound, I was surprised that you can still hear and able to talk with the Yi home camera that is inside a waterproof case. The speaker loudness is actually about the same with the outdoor camera, which is on the low side. So, if there are some ambient noises in the background, then you will just barely hear on both cameras. Alright, that's it guys, and hopefully you liked the video. And also hopefully Yi can get their app going so that they can start selling their cameras again. I wish they would tell their customers and prospective customers instead of just pulling the products out of the market. If you are an insider and knows anything about this issue, please comment and let us know below. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe to my channel to get comparison videos and updates like this, product reviews, and everyday life hacks. Thank you.